Jumbo, fellow adventurers, time for a spiritual tune-up. I'm Mike Dooley here to tell you that your thoughts become things. Today's question in alignment with this week's theme about living deliberately, creating consciously, being a manifester on purpose. Um, Mike, what are the best kinds of baby steps? I know when you're spiritually aware, you start thinking differently. And too often we think, Spiritual baby steps are becoming a vegetarian, yoga, breathing exercises. Those are not baby steps. Those will get you nowhere with regard to living the life of your dreams in terms of baby steps. They all have their own merits. So the specific question I received, Mike, would joining a dating site, an internet dating site, after I have fully put finding my soulmate into the universe's hands, be going against my wishes? Would it be like a negative act of faith? I mean, I, the, the questioner is coming from a logical place that making such mortal steps almost denies your belief in life's magic. I mean, why would you have to go out there and join a website if you believe in the universe? This reminds me of a question I used to receive right after The Secret came out long ago, 2006. The, the DVD, the movie, and then the book by Rhonda Byrne uh, that I had the good fortune of being featured in. Uh, the question came to me repeatedly, Mike. Uh, my friend and I are, are debating the law of attraction. And uh, I think by thinking about something and trusting and believing in the universe, our dreams will come to pass. But my friend thinks that we need to still go out there and you know knock on doors, turn over stones, take baby steps, which is the case. While it's true, your thoughts become things. And that's the end all be all. Um, what are your words? but your thoughts spoken. What are your actions, but your thoughts in action? So if you have thoughts about living the life of your dreams, but you're sitting on the couch doing nothing about them, there's a major contradiction. You're saying to GPS guidance, I want to go where I've never been before. And then you don't turn the car on. It's like, wait a minute. The implication throughout the program, The Secret, was that you would continue living your life, that you would continue going out into the world every single day. Baby steps. They're not important for the distance they cover, which is next to nothing. They're worthless. But that's not why you take baby steps. You take baby steps because they embolden your own belief in your inevitable success. You take baby steps because your inner witness sees, oh, this isn't the same old, same old. Prepare all systems for transformation. Anything could happen next. Mike is on the move. You take baby steps to avail yourself of life's magic that was programmed by your dream in the first place. Living the life of my wildest dreams. The universe is like, I'm all over it. I know how to get you there. But just please get out of the house. Show up so that there can be some serendipities, coincidences, happy accidents that blow your mind and put you on a path that you didn't even know existed so that we can exceed what you were looking for. You must take physical baby steps. But the reason most people don't is because they don't know how their dream's gonna come true. Well, you don't know how you're gonna get to that place you've never been to before in your car, but you still give it the destination. You still put your car in gear. What is incumbent upon all dreamers is that after they place a well-defined dream, as I've talked about at length, they must physically do something about it, even though you have no idea how your dream will come true. That's so weird. You can't know. Don't even think you know. Don't mess with the cursed house, although knock on doors, turn over stones, try this path, try that path, leave room for or better. But since you don't ultimately know how it'll come true, it's so weird in the beginning to just start doing stuff. But yet that's exactly what you've got to do. It doesn't matter what road you go down. If it's not ideal, you will hear, make a legal U-turn, right? 
But you don't hear that when your car's in park because you're in such massive contradiction. Oh, I'm always positive. Oh, I believe in the magic. Oh, I give great thanks in advance. Oh, I have well-defined end results. They're not coming true. Not unless you physically move in the general direction of your dreams. And if you don't know that direction, move in any direction and guidance is forthcoming. Make a legal U-turn. Now, to, to, to offer what I promised in the question, what are the best kinds of baby steps? Look around at what your peers, if you have peers, look at what your peers are doing, especially those people who don't know about the universe, thoughts becoming things, metaphysics, and the magic. What do those people do? Those are your end results. Do they do continuing education? Clutch. What a great baby step. Do they make cold calls every day? Clutch great baby steps. Do they what do they press the flesh? Do they join associations? Do they attend trade shows? Uh, do they network? Do they mingle? Are they part of a leads group? Did they join Rotary Club? Are they members of Toastmasters? These are all golden spiritually advanced baby steps. Don't be misled by the, the mortal, physical implications that, oh, it's just me and I'm just going to go and see who I sit next to at Rotary Club. The universe is looking for every opportunity to reach you. You've got your well-defined dreams. It's all being pressed to you, but you need to be in a place of receivership. So you go to Rotary Club. You sit next to somebody. They're not the president. They're not the spouse. They're not anybody you've ever heard of. It's their first meeting. You make the best of it. You, you engage. You have a sense of wonder about you. You're fully present in the moment. Next week, that person is poking you on Facebook. And the week after that, they invite you to the Christmas party. And at the Christmas party, they introduce you to Mr. Goodbar and your life is changed forever. When did the miracle happen? When you went to that club for the first time and you sat next to somebody who seemed absolutely bland and boring and had no way of furthering your dreams until two weeks later because you made the best of it, they introduce you to somebody who maybe will introduce you to somebody who maybe will introduce you to somebody and one day when your dreams come true, you'll look back at the trail you've tread and these little baby mortal steps that conjured up the magic. These physical baby steps are not important for the distance they cover, but they're an amazing tool for stirring up infinite possibilities. So take a baby step here, take a baby step there. Let it be mortal. Let it be embarrassing. Let it be taken with uh, humility. Just be in the moment. Surrender to curiosity. Be your best and prepare to be astounded. Those are the best baby steps to take. The kind of steps people take who don't even know about the magic and they're just out there trying to logically and sometimes intuitively be everywhere at the same time. You don't have to do this 12 hours a day. You can do it two hours a day. Whatever your budget is for creating change, fill it with baby steps and dreaming and the universe will find you. Fellow adventurers, thanks for these amazing questions. We have Friday ahead of us. Ask me some great questions about manifesting, whether it's dating websites. Hell to the yes, join your dating websites. Not because you'll necessarily meet anybody at this silly website, but because that demonstration by doing it with a glad heart, fully present, a sense of curiosity, playing along a little bit. You don't have to say yes to anybody. Don't give away your private details. That is seen by your inner witness. Things are changing. You start believing and now there's another way for the magic to reach you. Join the dating website. Do all of the mortal things. Lead groups, networks. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Have an amazing Thursday. The best of your life so far. Please ask your great manifesting questions uh, today. Today or first thing tomorrow morning before I get to the computer. Uh, and they could be my talking point in 24 hours and or in the following week. Also, if you're not able to make every single one of these spiritual tune-ups, which always range around 10 minutes, 
Every week, we put five together, that's 50 minutes, and drop them as a podcast. Back to back to back to back. So check out the podcast now. Wherever you get your podcasts, you can get these spiritual tune-up podcasts. And we also drop uh, archived Q&As and interviews and special other surprises for podcast subscribers. So check it out. The link below on Facebook. Swipe up to Instagram. Have an amazing day. Thanks for letting me do this. I'll see you on Friday. Tally how amigos. I don't see Facebook names anymore. I don't know why they took that away. So I can't give. Oh, here we go. Sam is in the house. Muzzle tough. Suzanne. Facebook is changing stuff every day. It's always getting better. Karen, Alexandra, Paula, Martine, Keiko, and on Instagram, Dance Animal Reiki Lady, Mike, glad you're all here, Takeo, and a running mess. Glad you're here, running mess. Hasta mañana.